Welcome back to the Tacoma Holic channel, everybody. I'm your host, Brian, from TacomaHolics.com. Today, we will be going over three things that I love about the upcoming 2020-2022 TRD Pro Tundra that I might possibly like to see on the fourth gen Toyota Tacoma, whenever that may be released. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe if you love everything related to Toyota Tacomas. All right, guys, a few of the things I'm gonna go over today are just cosmetic, but let's be honest. If you don't like the look of something, you're probably not gonna to gravitate towards it and eventually end up purchasing it. But I'm gonna go ahead and start with the biggest one, which is the engine selection for the 2022 Tundra all trim levels. I think these are available in all trim levels, just to be sure. I could be wrong, but it wouldn't be the first time. It looks like Toyota is doing away with the V8 option for the Tundra, which, like it or love it, you know, it was there. Nice to have a V8, I guess. They are swapping that in favor of a twin turbo V6 that is good for a baseline 389 horsepower and 479 pound foot, foot pound, I always get that backwards, of torque. There is an option on top of the twin turbo V6 if you pair it with the iForce Max package, which I believe is, I guess, like the hybrid version. I haven't really looked into it that much, but that bumps the horsepower up to 437 and the torque up to 583 pound foot. How this would probably translate if we see this in the next gen of Tacoma, it always seems like, like they did this with the Raptor. If you start with the V8 option, they downsize it to the next engine and then add a turbo or two. So with the Tacoma, I would assume this would mean getting rid of the V6, if Toyota does this, of course, at all, and swapping that in for a, for a turbo or twin turbo four cylinder. If that is something you would go for, go ahead and comment below and let me know. I know Tacoma fans have been wanting the turbo diesel version of the Tacoma, the Hilux, which is sold pretty much everywhere but the United States for the longest time. So this would probably be the next best thing. Obviously not a diesel, but if you could get those higher torque numbers, which is probably what you really want the turbo diesel for anyway, would you be interested in a regular gas powered turbo four cylinder Tacoma version? Me personally, hell to the yes. And like I mentioned before, the remainder of my selections on things I like about the 2022 Tundra, I always want to say Tacoma, for the Tundra are cosmetic, but they are all lighting related also. And the first is just the headlights. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you see a new generation of whatever vehicle it is released, the first thing I usually notice is the headlights and love them or hate them. That's definitely going to be your first impression of a vehicle. And personally, I love the way the new Tundra headlights look like. It always seems like I end up liking headlight, you know, changes between generations eventually. But when I first see them, I usually don't like them. So from what I can tell so far, I love the way these new Tundra headlights look like. And I'm not even talking about like if they're LED, HID, all that stuff, or, you know, the daytime running lights, all the cool lighting features. I'm just talking about the way they physically look, the housing shape. I think it's pretty wicked and would definitely love to see something like this incorporated into the next generation of Tacoma. I wasn't really a fan of the third gen headlights. They grew on me eventually, but I definitely preferred the 2.5 gen like you see on my truck behind me. So if the headlight shape is a big determining factor for you, whether you instantly like or hate a new version of a vehicle, comment below and let me know. And for the last one, I'll admit it's pretty small, but it is just the general upfront lighting added to the Tundra. I think if you get the TRD Pro based on the pictures I've seen, as you'll see in just a second, it comes with a, what looks like a 12 or 20 inch light bar right in the middle of the TRD Pro grill. And then what looks like sort of fog lights, but they're also incorporated into the lower corners of the grill. Like I mentioned that it looks like it's on the TRD Pro and the other Tundra versions. I have also seen those bottom corner grill lights offered without the center light bar. This seems like a much more practical upgrade based on what we saw on the TRD Pro Tacoma in the last few years with those overpriced rigid fog lights, which, I mean, that's nice, I guess, but personally, I'd rather not have that, not pay for that at the dealership and just upgrade the lighting myself. But it looks like, and I haven't seen any output or anything, so it could be wrong, but it looks like the lights added to the options on the new up and coming Tundra would be much more beneficial if you plan on off-roading at night or whatever compared to what we saw in the previous generation. Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. Do you like the lighting upgrade options incorporated into the grill? If so, comment below and let me know. All right, guys, and that's gonna do it for my top three things. I like what I'm seeing on the new up and coming 2022 TRD Pro Tundra. Did I miss something else that caught your eye when looking at this new up and coming truck? If so, comment below and let me know what it is. And also just let me know if you agree or disagree with my selections. As always, thank you so much for supporting the channel by watching this video. Enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you in the next video.